Hi guys and girls, here I again. Welcome back to the spare room. You might have noticed I've got a new toy in the workshop. We're still playing with this. And I thought, well, I'll give you a bit of a heads up and a look at it. Back in May, I put some money into a kickstart campaign for this machine. It's the Kadoma Tritus. Uh, there's a bunch of American and Asian guys got together and decided they were going to make this and kickstart it. It's a modular thing. It's really pretty good. I think I have had a lot of experience with 3D printers and this is the first one that I've, I've ever owned. And... As for Kickstarter, there were times when I didn't really think that I'd probably ever get this machine. And it was a bit dubious. And I've been tracking it for months, coming through from China, which is where it's made. But it's here and it's pretty good. It's all ball screws and proper stepper motors and all aluminium extrusions. This is this plate here on the bottom is 3 mil thick steel all on rubber feet it's a pretty neat tidy little unit I actually printed this spool holder and these parts and a few other parts for it when it arrived but it's set up and it's running with minimum fuss and it's doing some good prints I'm making up a funnel there for a plastic jar at work where we toss silver oxide batteries for recycling but it's only got a 14 mil hole on the top of a flat plastic lid and it's really a bit crap so time to print a funnel and I'm, I'm working on that that'll be three or four hours to do that I've done a few other projects just to sort of see how it goes I built this little car which has got a couple of clutches in it and pull back spring Looks like a plastic spring and plastic gears. This is all in PLA plastic. But to give you some idea of the finish of these parts, it's really not too shabby. It's a bit of fun. That's one project I've done. Another project I've done, and I haven't got a clue where they are, is a couple of wheels for this camera rail. So, they seem to have turned out alright. They're a nice press fit with bearings in them, just with skate bearings. No idea where I put them, but they'll turn up. So, that's what I've been messing around with. To be honest, it's... People sort of... Older people complain about the younger generation not getting their hands dirty and this being the way of the future and so forth. It's probably the most messy machine in the workshop, to be honest. There's something I've discovered. There's swarf here everywhere. It's awful stuff underfoot. It's like walking on Lego. And it gets in everything. And that's the one thing I've learned about 3D printing is that it is messy. It is slow and it's capable of some great things. Anyway, that's what I've been working on. Another thing that's arrived in the workshop this week is this light from Banggood, which is LED 12 volt lamp with a flexible hose or a flexible pipe that's about 500 long. Now, I had intended to plant this or, or to to load this on the, or bolt it down on the shaper and that might be a very useful thing but it would be much, much, much more useful up here on the camera rail and then I can use it on any machine. I can put this back down the other end in the dark and I've got a light with the camera I can point it over here at the shaper and I've got a, a light on the shaper. I can use it on the lathe where I'm shooting with the camera. I can use it here on the bench. So 
probably I'm going to do that. I've been messing with this that a friend gave me the files for, for this this cable chain and drag chain and it's quite nicely made but the problem is that I can cut I can I can basically print seven links at a time successfully I've discovered that's about what have we got 100 millimeters I need 3.3 meters that's 33 different prints and they're gonna take two or three hours each I can buy this stuff from China for about five bucks a meter, so that's probably what I'm going to do. And probably I'll make a box to go up the other, up the end of the rail, and we'll run, we'll double it up for for half the half the rail, another half will stretch out. So we should have. We should have a light that, that travels all the way along, which would be very, very useful. Anyway, that's about it for this video. It's just a quick update on this machine in particular, because there are people that are interested in it. It's very, very capable, and as far as prototyping and pattern making and so forth, everything's going to need a little bit of downstreaming. Um, this plastic can be sanded and filed and worked the same as any other material so there, there's certainly options for, for prototyping and I hope to use it as much as I can it's really just was bought as a bit of fun and I'd been looking to do this for quite some time and this is the one that presented itself that was I think probably the best value for money it certainly prints nicely and it has minimum stuff ups. Had a couple of stuff ups mostly because of what I've done rather than what the machine's done. So I'm pretty happy about that. Anyway, be kind to each other. More soon. Don't miss my video on Sunday morning. Uh, that's important for everyone who watches this channel. Can't stress that or not. Please don't miss that video. It's coming up. Um, there's a couple of big announcements in that. So watch out for it. Thanks for watching, guys and girls.